私が第45代特措鉄族長ティナだ偉大なる佐賀の大地この手で守ってみせるこの手にささやかなる力をはい、エビワン、ディスクロネコ。I'm going to talk about this Tina. Well, she is from the main story chapter for MC. And then she recently gets the third job. And I have mastered it. And then I already messed all of her gates, except for the gate 7. So with the gears, mementos, everything, her overall status is not really that bad as a free character. And her physical attack and death is about this high. The speed is 200, it's pretty high. And then next is the leader skill. For all elemental units, all of them will have HP plus 30%, physical attack plus 10%, and death plus 10%. And then if you master her third gate, the physical attack change into all attack, and death change into shooting attack, 10%. And even though it's only just 50%, but all elemental can be grouped together. So it's quite a rare leader skill. Okay, next is her main ability. For this first skill, it is a physical damage cover on your allies for 3 turns, and then the cover range is diamond within herself, not really that bad, and also increase her evasion for 3 turns. So basically, she is an evasion tank. Yeah, she covers the enemy attack and evades the attack. So as long as it is not a 100% hit, most likely she will be evades the attack. And then you can use 3 turns, not really that bad as well. And then this is the second skill. It is an area wind shooting attack with bite status, and for the three turns, the opponent will have shooting resistance and pierce resistance graded down. So, this skill attack is not really that bad, and the shooting range is 4, and the AoE is a plus 2, and the high range is infinity, so that you can attack anywhere within the range of 4. And then, next is the third skill. She will recover your ally debuff within the area, and for the three turns, all of them within the area will have debuff resistance up. So, this skill is actually not bad, but you only can use two times, so beware. And then, this is the fourth skill. It is an aerial wind shooting attack, and for the three turns, the opponent will have accuracy down and clock up and best status unifies. So, this skill attack is also very good, especially if it reduces the opponent's accuracy so that she can evade the enemy attack very easily. And then, with the range of four, and it is a three times three square AoE, and then with the high range infinity. And you can use 5 times, so it's quite good. And then this is the last skill. It is a wind shooting attack and it knocks the enemy defense. And then strong versus the amorphous or gem. And when the opponent has the bite status, the skill power g r e a t l y increase with the range of 5. And the high range is unlimited. So this skill attack is the most powerful skill from the main ability. As well as you can use 5 times and it is quite cheap. And then this is the sub ability. For this first skill, it is a wind shooting attack, and for the one turn, her shooting attack t a m e 2. So basically, it is a shooting charge skill with attack, and with the range of 5 and height range unlimited again, and you can use 3 times. And then, if you master her 5th gate, this skill changes into the shooting attack buff i n c r e a s e to t a m e 5, and the skill usage i n c r e a s e and r e d u c e the dual cost. So basically, this 5th gate upgrade is really very good. From charge time 2 to charge time 5. And then, next is the second skill. For the three turns, she and your allies will have very strong versus the amorphous buff, and the AoE is diamond within her. So, basically, this buff is only very good against the amorphous or gem unit. Otherwise, it's really nothing much. And then, you can use two times. And then, next is the last skill. She will recover your allies' HP. And recovers all best status. And the shooting range of 5 with the AoE of plus. So this skill is also not bad, especially if it's 100% recovers the best status, unlike the second job. And then next is the reaction ability. This reaction will animate from all types of attack, and it's a first strike counter. And then for the two turns, her evasion and shooting range increase and can be stacked two times, and with the skill attack animation. So basically, this reaction ability is similar with l a f t a l i a and t a n o s k e So when she animates this reaction skill two times, her evasion will be plus 30, it's quite a lot. And the shooting range will be plus 2. And then this is a support ability. This passive is from her third job, and it increases her dex, shooting attack, and evasion. 
And then when she evades any attack, her physical attack, dex, and shooting attack increase and can be stacked 5 times. So basically, this is really very good passive. Especially when she evades 5 times, her overall attack greatly increase. And then for the next passive is... When you master her second gate, he added extra shooting attack up and with the shooting range plus 2. So I think these two passive will be the best for her. And then depending on the situation, you can switch this passive into... This passive is from her second job and it increases her shooting attack, accuracy and swarm versus the Amorphius or gem. So if you are fighting against this kind of monster, this passive can be very good but it reduces her shooting range. So beware. And then next is her master ability. For this first skill, you can learn by clearing one of her main story chapter 4 and then it greatly increases her evasion for one turn on one of her ally and herself. And the shooting range is 4. So basically this skill is actually quite good right now, especially you need to evade the attack to increase her overall status. And then next is the second skill. It is a wind shooting attack with strong versus a thunder. And then for the 3 turns, she will have the strong versus a thunder buff greatly increase. And the shooting range is 5. And in order to learn this skill, you need to have Mocha, and she is from the main story but she is a limited character from the Mementos. And then you need to clear their character story in order to learn this skill. And the requirement of using this skill is, you need to have Mocha beside her in order to use this skill. So this skill is only very good if you are fighting against the thunder unit. Otherwise it's really nothing much. And then next is the Mementos. This Mementos is for Logi and Tina. And even though this is a limited Mementos, but during the 5th anniversary campaign, you can get this Mementos for free, for once. And after that, you need to press the 3 step summer banner to get the remaining Mementos. And then it increases her HP for the basic parameter. And for the group skill, it increases her accuracy, physical attack, speed, and then initial jewel, dex, and evasion. This group skill is for Logi, so I skip. And then if you mass break this Mementos, this group skill added as well win attack up. So the overall status increase is quite good for Tina, especially the evasion up. And then this is the BG ability. From the start of the map, she will have all attack up, and it is a permanent buff. And then if you mass break this Mementos, it increases her overall buff so that her overall attack increase. So it's quite good. But right now this Mementos there is no leader skill, so beware. And then for the sub Mementos, well, basically you can equip with anything as long as it is from the Saga region. I equip with the Seda Mementos that increase the physical attack and physical attack and initial jewel. But of course you also can equip with Tami's Mementos and then with the Mocha Mementos. This two is quite good. But the best is using Tami's and Mocha together so that you can activate this good skill for Tina only when Mocha equip these Mementos or uh, for the Tami's when she equip the Mementos. Tina will have the bonus and Mocha as well. So it is quite good to team with Mocha and Tamis together. And then all of that is win unit, so just nice. And then this is her gears. This accessory you can get from her mementos, and then it increases her speed, poison resistance, evasion, and jewel gain. So I think this will be the best accessory for her. And then for the weapon ability is for the three turns, all of her parameter grading increase. And then for your other ally within the area, we have all parameter increase. So this weapon ability is not actually that bad, especially there is no cast time. And then for the next gear, this weapon you can get from the Phantom of Kill collaboration event from Feel Not ES Weapon Quest. And then it increases her physical attack, dex, and magic evasion. So the overall status is actually quite good for her. But then if you don't have this weapon, you can equip with anything you have. And then for the next gear, this accessory is from Seda Mementos and even though it increases the physical attack but then it also increases the shooting attack and strong versus the thunder. So if you are fighting against a thunder unit, this accessory will be very good. And then if you equip this accessory with the Seda bow, this vulnerability will activate which is increase her physical attack, dash and accuracy. But then it's really optional if you ask me. And then if you don't have this accessory, you can switch to this free accessory you can get from one of the campaign. I'm not really that sure, but it's a free accessory. And then it increases the speed, thunder resistance, and strong versus the thunder. So this accessory is not really that bad. 
and then you can use the web ability and it increases her physical attack, dash and speed for 3 turns. So it's really better than nothing. Or uh, any accessory that increases her attack or slash evasion or magic evasion or shooting evasion will be good for her. And then this is the Kaigan Laser. Her HP increased by 15% when you max level and increase her dash for level 5 and shooting attack for level 10 and evasion for level 15. And then for the Laser ability, it increases her strong versus her thunder. So the overall status up is not bad, especially the evasion plus 5. And then next is a Shindi no Keifu. You need to master off the gates of Tina and Mocha, these two creators. And then for the level 1, it increases the pierce attack and shooting attack. And for the level 2, it increases the physical attack and speed. And for the level 3, it increases the evasion and shooting range. So the overall status up is very good for Tina and Mocha, especially the level 3. So that the overall evasion increase. And then next is the runes or seals. Well, for the set bonus, it's really very good to equip with evasion runes, but right now I equip with physical attack and with area attack. But of course, you also can switch with single attack up or accuracy. And then with the dex, shooting attack plus 15, and then dex. And then the rest can be anything you like. And then this is, I'm going to test out at the training arena, and let's see her overall damage is how much, as well as how well she can evade the enemy's attack, when I'm using the evasion rules. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's check her status first. With this leader skill, it only increases the HP and the rest of the attack here. And then her overall status is this high with the mementos. Not really that bad. And then let's see her normal attack first. About 3.8k and 4.2k. Okay. And how about this skill? Oh, 6k. 8k, okay. And how about this skill? About 7k and 9k, okay. And how about this skill? About 6k and 9k, okay, quite good. And how about this skill? About 5k and 6.5k, not bad. Okay, next is I'm going to use this skill to reduce the resistance. And let's see the overall damage increase by how much, as well as with the buy status damage increase. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's see how normal attack first. About 5k, not bad. And 5.7k. And how about this skill? 8k and 10k, okay. And this skill? 9k and 12k. And how about this skill? Whoa, suddenly increase a lot. And 18.5k Okay, next is I'm going to use the charge time 5 Let's see the overall damage increase by how much Okay, let's go Okay, let's see her normal attack first Whoa, about 15k and 15.3k And how about this skill 22k 25k And this one 26k and 29k And how about this skill? 32k and 35k Okay Okay, next is I'm going to use this skill to increase her parameter status And let's see the damage increase by how much with everything Okay, let's go Okay, let's check her status first Ooh, not really that bad for 3 turns And then how about the normal attack first? 25k 26k, okay And this one 38k and 42k, interesting And how about this skill? 44k Near 50k And this one 54k and Near 60k <laughs> Okay, lastly is After when she evades any 5 attack Let's see the damage increase by how much with everything Okay, let's go Okay, let's see her status first Okay, the physical attack is about 2k and the death is about 3k, not bad And how about the normal attack? Okay, about 40k and 41k And how about this skill? 60k, 66k, okay And this one 70k, 78k, okay 
And how about this skill? 85k and 92k. Okay, not really that bad. Okay, let's check the Tina evasion by using Zen. This attack. 100% <laughs> Well, Zen accuracy is super high, so I already expect for the 100% And then this is a magic attack from Nero Okay, I'm using this skill 39% Well, I equip with the magic evasion up, so the magic evasion is not bad But of course if you are attacked from behind, it's about 90% I think And then this is I'm going to activate her reaction ability for 2 times And then let's see her overall evasion increase by how much Okay, let's go Okay, let's see the same attack, this one 89% <laughs> It's still very high from the Zen And then next is Narrow By using the same skill 24% Not really that bad but it's still quite risky Okay, next is I'm going to activate the cover skill to increase her evasion. Let's see the overall evasion increase by how much with the rash ability. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's see the slash attack. This one 59%. Okay, still risky from Zen. And then how about narrow? And using this one. Okay, finally 0%. Quite good. Okay, next is I'm going to use the evasion up on herself and let's see her evasion increase by how much with everything. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's see the slash attack. I think it will be 0%. Finally. And then how about from behind? 9%. <laughs> but it's only for one turn. And then how about narrow? Most likely should be 0%. Okay, how about from behind? It's also 0% So most likely all of the magic attack will be 0% As well as if you equip with Slash Evasion Accessory I think then Slash Attack will be 0% as well So conclusion is She suddenly become one of the top shooting unit for the win As well as she is also an Evasion unit so she will not get killed so easily other than the 100% hit and with the high accuracy enemy and then her overall attack power is quite high especially when she evades for 5 times as well as since she is a free unit and the mementos is free so she is quite easy to train as well compared with most of the 5 star or limited and then all you have to do is you need to think of some way to clear her 3rd job quest after that you are good to go so I guess that's all about Tina. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys got any questions about her, please comment. Please touch subscribe and subscribe if you like this video. See ya, Selnara. この手に囁かなる力この手で守ってみせるはっ助かったよしいくぞこの手にささやかなる力終わりだよし、みんなも無事か<笑>